Hello everyone, welcome back. You may notice something different about today's video. For one thing, I got myself a haircut. I really needed one. Uh, my hair grows at an unbelievable rate and when you have hair like that, it's a good idea to get it cut short every time you go for a haircut. Uh, we didn't have time today to do the video on Christology, which I know I said was coming next, and that is coming. But I thought to myself, I have enough time today to tell them about something just as interesting. I'm going to tell them about this wonderful book that I know called Eiffelheim. Eiffelheim is a book written by Michael Flynn and published by Tor, and it's categorized by them as hard science fiction. And it is by no means a leisurely read. This book is not for the faint of heart. It's full of philosophical and advanced scientific terminology. It's very cerebral in that sense. But the real hook of the premise of this story is that it involves a uh, first contact with aliens. Now I know that stories like that are a dime a dozen and that you know Hollywood loves to put out movies about you know how the aliens come and they're hostile and they invade and we have to push them back and you know they're they're really like the modern equivalent of 1950s monster movies. There's not much substance to them. Uh, but the thing that sets this book aside is that aliens crash land on the earth in 13th century Germany in the Middle Ages, and first contact is made by a Catholic priest by the name of Father Dietrich. Now, I don't know about you, but that premise hooked me, and I hope it sounds interesting to you too. In terms of story elements, I think that this is a masterfully well-written book. I really like Michael Flynn's writing. I think he does an excellent job of capturing the spirit and vernacular of the Middle Ages. There are some words that get thrown around that we would never use in that context, and it serves to illustrate that this is a completely alien culture, almost as alien as the actual space aliens that are encountered in the story. The story is about a clashing of cultures, not only a clash between our modern understanding of how things work and the medieval culture, but also between the medieval culture and the alien culture, which is very similar to our own in terms of scientific understanding. The aliens themselves are just endlessly fascinating. They're called the Kranken. Uh, they evolved from insects, and they have a hive mind thing going, but not really. Uh, they have developed or evolved a, a certain degree of individuality that they're not yet fully aware of like we human beings are. And uh, they remind me a lot of a cross between the prawns from District 9 and the geth from Mass Effect. And they are just endlessly fascinating. They have a very intricate culture that the author does an excellent job of describing for us. And the heart of the story, the heart of the book, is when Father Dietrich uh, and an alien that he comes to know as Johannes von Stern, that means uh, Johann of the Stars, the heart of the story is when these two sit down and have philosophical discussions. Yes! Yes! I know, right? A medieval human being and an a hyper-advanced alien sitting down and discussing philosophy. It, it sounds amazing, and it is amazing. The average reader will look at these scenes and say, oh, no, this is too long, there's too many words I don't understand, I'm going to turn my nose up at it, I don't like it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's not an easy read. It's very intellectually minded, it's very cerebral, and there are a lot of philosophical terms that get thrown around that the average person probably doesn't really understand. And so this book is not for everybody, which is probably why it hasn't been all that successful. But for anybody who is philosophically inclined, these discussions are just so fascinating. And it's wonderful that there are so many of them. They are my favorite parts of the book, and I think they'll be your favorite parts too. Now, there are two stories that this book tells. The first is the one that I've already described about the humans encountering the aliens. And the second is about modern-day scientists who are trying to figure out what happened back there at this village of Eiffelheim, because evidently, uh, historically, the village of Eiffelheim, at least in this story, uh, disappeared at one point, or it was called the Devil's Village, and uh, it's a great mystery as to what really happened there, and these scientists are trying to figure out what happened, and uh, they their scenes are written with full uh, scientific terminology. Uh, it's very scientifically minded. It's uh, it, They're basically talking about like astrophysics and stuff. And personally, I'm not an astrophysicist, so I didn't understand all of it. I understood some of it, but not all of it. A lot of it went over my head. So if you're more scientifically minded than philosophically minded, you'll probably find these scenes interesting. But for me, sadly, there was no appeal to them, partly because the characters are not nearly as interesting as the medieval characters are. Uh, there's a lot of needless drama that gets thrown around in this arc, and it's just not... It's just personally not that appealing to me. Uh, for me, personally, I would recommend just 
skipping the scientific modern bits altogether because you could read the medieval parts alone and that would be you would be fully satisfied by that. Now, I can't get into too much detail telling you what, what happens next in the story, but I can just say that it's very uplifting and it's uh, it's, it's kind of tragic. It, it's, it's kind of like that movie The Mission with Robert De Niro and uh, Jeremy Irons and Liam Neeson, come to think of it. Uh, that's a good movie worth checking out. Uh, and this book has a kind of a similar feeling to that. And I say that uh, in the most positive, praising sense. This book is a far more interesting and compelling examination of what happens when worlds collide than, say, Avatar ever was. You'll never want to watch Avatar again after you read this book. Personally, I am just dying for the day when somebody makes a movie out of this book because, I tell you, it would make money if it was well done. Yeah, I'm gonna stop gushing and just, uh, encourage you to go out and read the book for yourself. It's Eiffelheim by Michael Flynn. If you like philosophy, and if you want to learn more about medieval culture, and you like a good science fiction novel, you're not going to be disappointed. This is The Idiot, signing out.